hello hello i'm mariana if you're new here if you're not welcome back to my channel also don't forget to subscribe like the video if you like the video and all of the things today we're getting into this really classic cat eyeliner look with mascara so this is literally just a fat wing and some nice natural lashes so this is like a really classic look really easy to do literally only two things that you need and i'm sure you have some liner and mascara lying around in your house so you can definitely do this you don't need a specific fancy palette or a specific fancy eyeliner either but i'm going to show you the one that i used and the one that i like to use to make this as easy as possible and we're going to go ahead and get into it so for this look when i like to make the eyeliner the moment of the look i don't really do anything to my eyes in terms of like eyeshadow but these are the products that i'm using and this is the l'oreal infallible felt tip liner so this is like a liquid liner but in a pencil form um and it has a really precise felt tip this just makes it really easy to use instead of kind of using a liquid liner with a brush because the tip is a little bit longer than you would get in a little bottle with a brush. But again, do what you are comfortable with. So what I did was initially just make that first line in the outer corner and then I'm kind of fol following my lash line, my lower lash line, and creating an extended wing with it. And then I'm just gradually building up the wing on my lid. So I'm kind of focusing on the outer corner right now and focusing on making a clean wing but if you do mess up if it becomes a little bit too thick then you can always clean it up with concealer which I do end up doing with my other eye so then after I have the initial wing I go in on the inner corner and I just line my entire lash line and then that's when you can start cleaning up the top line and start making it as thick as you want I did go pretty thick for this because this is like a bold wing look and I also just wanted to clean it up and make sure it was nice and smooth. Also, if you do have hooded eyes, you're going to want to make sure that you're like looking directly into your mirror as well as looking down to create the wing to make sure that it looks good when you're looking down and then when you're also looking straight. So I'm doing the same exact thing on the other eye. My eyelids are not that hooded, so it tends to kind of look the same no matter how I'm looking and Obviously, I'm very used to my own eyes, so the more that you practice, the more you'll get comfortable with creating a wing, and then you'll get faster and faster and better and better. So when I go ahead and do the other eye and trying to make it nice and symmetrical, I like to create that first initial wing line following my lash line, and I also make sure that I look straight into the mirror to check if it is symmetrical but again if it's not we can go ahead and clean that up with concealer but we are trying our best to make it symmetrical um, as easily and fast as possible so i went ahead and aligned the entire lash line with the liner and then i like to just go back and forth and check so the left eye is a little bit thicker than the right eye but it's also depending on what you're going for so i was going for a thick liner so i am going to go ahead and thicken the right eye up a little bit more but I like how both of these look. Again, you need to practice and see what looks good on you. I don't mind both of the thicknesses, but it depends on what I'm going for that day. So I went ahead and thickened up the inner corner and then just matched that up with the outer corner. And if you do need to thicken up the liner, then you want to make sure that you're kind of staying away from the wing because that's going to be the skinniest part, the pointiest part. And that's where you are going to want it to be as clean as possible. So I'm just going ahead and making sure that it matches up with whatever's going on on the actual eyelid. And this is where we landed. So it is looking just a tad bit lopsided, but that's totally fine because you're not going to get it 100% symmetrical. But I am happy with this, so this is where I stopped. So now we're going in with the inner corner cat eye. This is actually really easy to do once you get the hang of it and once you practice a little bit. What I basically did was created that initial line following my upper lash line and I'm just kind of extending it like I did with the outer corner wing and then connecting it to the lower lash line. So I was pretty happy with the initial point and shape that I created on this side of the eye and I'm going to try and do, it's usually never symmetrical, but you just want to go ahead and follow the upper lash line and then connect it to the lower lash line and then also make sure that the upper lash line is as thick as possible or just like matching up with whatever you're doing so if this is like if you're extending the eyeliner into your inner corner and then you see here that there's like a really skinny part that i'm fixing right now then it's going to look a little weird so you want to make sure that it gradually goes into your eyeliner and that it looks 
kind of natural, I guess, somehow. So I ended up kind of not making it as symmetrical as it could be. So this is me just cleaning it up with a really tiny concealer brush. I just like to kind of clean up the line underneath to make it a little bit skinnier and also to make it pointier toward the like where the wing is supposed to be so this is how I clean up the inner corner and usually this is always something that I have to do when I do do this type of look because it's like never symmetrical um, but this is kind of how I get around that and basically what you want to go for again like I said you're never going to get it to be 100% symmetrical but what you want to go for is just like the shape going in the same direction and then the same amount of pointiness if that makes sense so this is me cleaning up the outer corner wing on the right eye i think the wings that i made weren't going in the same direction one was a little bit more uplifted and one was a little bit more straight so i just wanted to kind of match them up a little bit and i just did that on the right eye and now we're going in with some mascara so this is the it cosmetics waterproof mascara this wand is a pretty good wand and one of my favorites um, I really like mascara wands that are rigid and sturdy, which allows me to really get into the root of the lash and comb through and get the product on the entire lash. And then when I load up all of the mascara on my lashes, I can go in with a tip and separate them and make them look nice and fluffy. I actually have recently not been like going for strip lashes or clusters lately i've just been wearing my own natural lashes so i've been really big into mascara lately and like mascara only natural lash looks so i did not add any falsies to this look but if you want to you definitely can um i think it would definitely make that like classic lashes and liner look which is always really really pretty but this is what I was going for and I wanted to kind of give you like an in-depth on my little mascara routine. What I basically do is really go in on the root of the lashes and comb it all the way up. And I also like to back comb my lashes with the wand as well. So I'll get most of the product off of the brush when I'm combing up normally and then I'll go in and back comb it to get like the leftover product on the back of the lashes. I find that that really helps make the lashes look longer and a little bit more full because you're getting the product literally around the entire hair follicle or lash follicle. So this is where we landed. I really like how it came out. Again, it's not 100% symmetrical, but I think that it's doing its job. So let me know what you guys think. If you still wear a really thick wing, I'd love to know. And if this is not in your makeup skills bag, I definitely suggest practicing because this is a classic look that I'm sure will come back time and time again. So again, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like this video if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!